Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Today we are going tuna fishing with our friends Don and Margie on their boat, Big Time. But before we get started, don't forget to find us on Facebook, Instagram, and of course subscribe to us here, hit that bell for notifications on YouTube. The morning started off a little rough. You know, we're coming out of the inlet and you see some dark clouds in the distance. Some storms around us, but we managed to avoid them. We head on out to the humps just off the middle keys. There are a lot of humps. There's the Isle of Murata humps. There's the Marathon humps. There's, I don't know, I can think of at least uh, four in the middle keys area. Now this area is a great area to catch fish. Tuna is like the big thing, but you can also catch mahi, there are marlin out there. I've seen some big mako uh, sharks, you know, tearing fish up. So there's a lot of cool things. Amberjack, you know, it's a great spot to fish. There's a lot of different ways to do it. You can throw live bait, you can jig butterfly jigs, or you can troll baits, which seems to be the most common out there. Starting off with three lines. Got three lines. Put them in these clips. So now how far back they are to keep them like staggered, we count. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. We're at 25, 20, and 15 Mississippi. Today was a good opportunity because I wanted to keep testing my Stealth Tuna rig. On a previous video, we went out and we were using this rig I made up. And uh, it's got light fluorocarbon, a small little feather lure, and a really long wind-on leader. Which I got a video coming out on how to make it, how to rig that. So stay tuned. We started trolling, it was kind of hard because we weren't seeing a lot of birds. They were kind of in and out, which means it's hard to find the fish. Also, there were more boats than usual. It was pretty packed out there. So that makes it hard to get around and sometimes it spooks the fish down deep. But my stealth tuna rig did great. We had a couple of those out and then a couple of their standard lures out and that stealth tuna rig caught most of the fish. So it was proven to be really productive. Um, it's a really good sign, you know, that, you know, it's working, you know, when you battle it against other lures and, and see what's working and you know every day is different you know sometimes I don't think fish care if you have a stealth rig sometimes fish are hungry they need to eat you know you ever been hangry and you're like I'll eat anything you know you just want a, you want food and you want a lot of it okay sometimes that's how fish are you know you want food and, and you'll go to McDonald's right <laughs> and sometimes you're like you know what I'm not that hungry I want something good I want me a good steak you know, depending on how hungry you are, depends on how picky you are. Same thing it is with fish, from my experience. Real, Dad, real. <laughs> hey, you hit the stealth rig. Yeah. Can I reel that? Okay. Keep on going. Careful, he's going under. There we go. Almost. Nice. That's that pink for a leader. I got a wind on swivel and uh, about 20 feet of floor leader. Yeah. I just kind of put it here on my hip, kind of balance it, keep it up, and let this lay on my forearm. That's two on the pink 4 
Hey, look, he's, he's running to the side. I wonder if that's a... Uh... Yeah, I think it's a dolphin, guys. Yeah, it's a dolphin. One of the fish was pretty cool, it was a dolphin. You can generally tell these because they got a little more power. They can really flare that body. A tuna have that football shape, so they can't really use their body because it's just so hydrodynamic. You know, they pretty much got to go whichever you point them, but a dolphin can go flat and flare himself out and kind of pull to the side. Yeah. Way to break the law. We didn't catch as many tuna as we had hoped or the day before. But that's okay. We still had a great time. We caught some tuna, some dolphin, had a fun time on the troll. I always learn stuff fishing with Don and Margie. And uh, it's given me more uh, data to kind of think about for my stealth tuna rig and to get some new ideas for how to do, you know, my next rig. I always love kind of rigging new stuff up and trying it and see how it works. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comment below, and we'll see you next time.